Welcome to the Econ Experience. We like to show you how Econ CPQ works as part of the quote to order process of Microsoft Dynamics 365 for finance and operations. We're going to add a configurable product to an existing sales order. Therefore, we click on Product and Supply and click on the Configure option. Clicking this button shows us a list of templates. We select our door model. The user interface can be fully customized and set up to your needs. The look and feel of this model is similar to the Dynamics 365 look and feel. There are several panels set up in the example, some with price information, one about the product information, and a panel with customer information, and later on, the design of the door will be shown over here. Econ CPQ has many possibilities of setting up questions, functions, and other relevant information. Also, mandatory fields can be determined. The fields indicated in red are the so-called mandatory fields. We need to answer them before we can save the configuration back to Dynamics. Let's start by configuring our first order. We select the door. That opens a window where we can see all the models available. This information is coming straight from Dynamics. Econ CPQ doesn't have his own database, thus everything you see over here comes uninterrupted from the Dynamics database. Let's go for Model Belgium. That fires off some rules. The design and price are show, and when we continue and pick a certain length, we see that some of the options are strike through, so they are not available for this model we selected. Selecting the length will calculate the number of hinges required for this door. As you can see, users can be informed by informative messages. Let's select the width, color, and the swing of the door. Now we're done with the basis of this door. However, we would like to go for a door with glazing, so we reopen the door model selection and select the model Spain. You can select this model as well by typing the name of the product by the standard capability Find as you type. After we select the Spain model, we see that the length and width got red, indicating there's something wrong. We see that the chosen width and length are not possible. The Econ Rules Engine ensures continuously that the options and selections you make are always correct and valid. Since this is a door with a window, a tab with windows pops up. Here we can select the type of glass that we want. Please note that prices are real-time shown and edit up. We go back to the door to see another feature. Currently, we've chosen standard sizes, showing us the standard length and widths. However, when we select Special, it has an impact on the price. Econ CPQ is, of course, able to specific pricing rules. Secondly, we see the beauty of the dynamic UI because new fields pop up, allowing us to enter our custom dimensions. Height and width are indicated in red. This means that these dimensions should be in a certain range. We add 2300 here and 1200 there. Four more dimensions should be entered. And because it's not clear what dimensions this is, so we click on the image button, showing us what we should enter in a graphical way. Closing it off, we'll return to the configuration. Let's go to the accessories area and let chose a certain hinge. Let's pick this Chrome one. Econ CPQ has calculated three hinges, but when we select a number lower than four, a message pops up telling us that this is not an ideal choice. We could continue. It's just a warning, but of course we could have made it an error instead of a warning. In that case, you're not allowed to go for this option. Let's add a lock and a door handle. Now let's add a sill strip. You see that the choices could also visualize. Finally, at the drawing tab, we can see how Econ can real-time visualize the door as well. It's all real-time which means that as we go back to the sizes and make some changes and position the hinge a bit lower, Econ updates this immediately. We're satisfied with this door, so simply press Process and Exit, and Econ process all the info. It has added our item at a sales order line, it has brought in the price, and it has been building up the bill of material. So we're ready for production. We hope this movie gave you a right overview of Econ's capabilities for Dynamics 365 for finance and operations. Thanks for watching.